Hey guys, Tonic here. Over this past week, I've been trying to recreate the Prospector Saloon from Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 76, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. This build is going to be right here on the map, right next to the town of Grafton, and I chose this area because it kind of feels like a desert. You have all of this dust blowing around in the air, you have a lot of ash on the ground that kind of looks like sand, and a lot of the vegetation is just dead, so it kind of does feel like Fallout New Vegas in that way. Now going into the build itself, we do have Easy Pete here on the porch in his chair. This is the Settler Forager ally that you can place in your camp. And I have him dressed up with the Mothman Hunter hat and the Settler Mechanic outfit. And then going inside here, we have the interior of the building. And you can see that this is laid out the exact same. We do have a globe in the same spot, the pool table, the bar. But it's a lot more colorful and a lot more decorated, and that is because I still wanted to make this a livable, functioning camp for Fallout 76. So I still do have things like the speed bag, I still do have a vendor, some crafting benches, my special loadout, and the luck machine. So players can still come here, they can still interact with the camp, use the crafting benches, trade things with the vendor, but it still does kind of have the same layout as the one in Fallout New Vegas. So going over here, we have the popcorn machine behind the bar and a lot of decor. The bar was actually kind of the hardest thing to figure out because in Fallout New Vegas, it's just kind of a giant cabinet with a lot of empty beer bottles and beer pitchers on there. But we can't really place those in Fallout 76, so I tried to find things to fill that gap. But I think it turned out pretty decent. And then going into the back here, we have the crafting area. So this is where all of my workbenches are. We have a tanker's workbench, we have an armor workbench, a weapons workbench, as well as the chemistry station and a stash box. And we also do have the three rooms. So in New Vegas, this is a restroom, this is a restroom, and then this is a boarded up door. However, in my version, this is the restroom with a shower, toilet, and a sink. And then this is a bedroom with a bed, some stash boxes, a television, and an alarm clock. And then this boarded off door actually opens into a little storage closet. Now you can't enter it, but I just kind of wanted to put some decor in there and just kind of make it look like a little neat Easter egg. And if I can close that door there, we can take a look at the back of the building. And the back is honestly kind of sweet, so we have a water collector right here where you can get some dirty water from. And over here we have a little ventilation system on the wall that actually goes into a cooler. So anything that the restaurant wants to keep cool, they can store back here. It has an ice machine, a milk machine, Edatronic, a cooler. Just a nice little thing. I had some room in this build, so I wasn't really too sure what to fill it with. So I just kind of made a little cooler thing right there. And then this fence is just a throwback to the fence that you have to shoot those bottles off with sunny smiles. It doesn't really serve much of a purpose, but I felt like the Good Spring Saloon needed a fence. Now in this build you may have noticed that there's no power connectors anywhere, there's no generators that are visible. And that is because I actually have them all hidden away in a pretty cool little spot. So if I can go ahead and get on the roof here, I can delete one of these roof pieces. And this is actually where I stored all the power for the entire camp. So you can see here we have wires going throughout everything, powering every single light inside. And these are actually how I was able to power the popcorn machine and the vendors. If I can grab a hold of it there. So it kind of just sticks right to the floor there. And I'll go back down there to show you. I hit it behind a ceiling joist. So with the popcorn machine, you can't really see it unless you're right on top of it. And even then it's still pretty hidden. And the same with this one as well. I kind of hit it behind a ceiling joist for the vendor. So that was something that was really cool that I was not expecting to be able to do, but it actually let me place a roof over the other roof. So I was able to hide everything in there. They're extremely protected. They're extremely hidden and no one will even know that they're there. And another really cool thing about this build is actually this destroyed building. I like to pretend that this is the Good Springs General Store, but just in a lot worse of a state. I actually originally intended to be able to build in this as well and kind of make a little Good Springs sign and maybe try and fix it up a bit, but my camp radius was just a bit too short and I could have moved it over a bit, but then the length of this building would not fit and it was just better to leave that building blank and just really build up the saloon. So I really wish that I could have done this. On Fallout Worlds I could have done this, but I did want to build this on normal servers so people could come visit it and be able to experience the Prospector Saloon in Fallout 76. And the last really cool thing about this is actually over here at this little farm. So 
You can actually run over here every single day. You can collect wood from these wood piles. You can collect some junk. Sometimes some Nuka Cola spawns in here, and there is actually one here right now. And then over here, we do have a Rad Scorpion that I'm going to have to fight. But we also do have a ton of plants. So we do have some potatoes, we do have some carrot flowers, and all sorts of pretty cool stuff. So you can run over here daily, be able to collect all of that, cook with it, and then sell that food in my vendors, which is pretty sweet. This build was a ton of fun to do, and I am actually extremely happy with how it turned out. It kind of makes me want to try and build some other buildings from the previous Fallout games in Fallout 76. Maybe Doc Mitchell's house, or maybe even something from Fallout 3, or even Fallout 4. It was just really cool to go and get some screenshots from the other games and try and compare that to this and try and match everything to the best of your abilities. And then to try and decorate it after and give it that camp feel. It was just a ton of fun and it really makes me want to try out some other things. But that is pretty much going to be it for this video. So I do want to thank you all for stopping by and watching. And as always, I would like to give a massive thank you to all of the channel members. Yozavated, Anna S, Playmaker, Fallout McFly, Network Gate, Golti, Indica, Robert Kennard, Wandering Wastelander, Esdeath93, Lanthar, Anna Reestes, Captain Awesome, Citizen Girl, Heather Henderson, Patrick Ruda, 23 Icefire, Jay Smith, Arjun Deer, Bowser Double Frank, Ice Cream Manny, Chris Decker, Theodore, Digital Aardvark, Lone Samurai OG, Deathin Gaming, Christy Mellon Schwitz. You guys are amazing. I love you guys and have a great day.